Hello, my name is Eric Phipps with Junction Networks and OnSIP.com. Today we're going to get a Panasonic TGP600 ready to go for provisioning with the OnSIP system. We're going to register a TPA60 handset to the TGP600 base and show you how to turn on the embedded web and how to get the IP address information. We're going to show you how to navigate the system to get what you want quickly and easily. First, we're going to need to register the phone to the base unit of the device. When you get the phone uh, plugged in uh, and all ready to go, it's going to say register device and hit OK for registration. So hit OK right there and it's going to say hold down OK to register and it's going to say please wait. While it's doing that, you just need to hit this button right here on the side of the TGP. And then it's going to attempt to pair. It doesn't always take this long, sometimes it can just be a few seconds. And then the device will be ready to go and you can tell uh, because it will have uh, this antenna up there with like the number of bars to indicate the signal strength and uh, it will go back to flashing orange as opposed to flashing red. Okay, so what we're going to need to do now is we're going to have to turn on the embedded web so that we can access the phone through a web browser. So on the handset that you just registered, hit menu, then you're going to go down for the setting option. Unfortunately, uh, this camera does not really like bat lit, bat -lit uh, phones, so we're going to have to just kind of make do. So you're going to hit setting handset, and then what you're going to want to do is you're going to scroll down to other option, and that's actually on the second page of options. So just scroll down, and there you'll see other option. It's actually uh, the last option on this screen. And then you'll see embedded web, Go ahead and hit that. And the default uh, to protect you from hackers or anyone who uh, sh shouldn't have access to this device that you don't want is to be turned off. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn that on. And there you go. That's going to be on now. But that's going to unfortunately be kind of worthless unless you have the IP address of the phone. So what you're going to need to do is just hit menu to exit out of that menu button and hit menu again and this time we're going to go to setting system so the system settings right here uh, right next to where we were hit OK and then uh, what we're actually going to do is we're going to hit status and then it's going to be kind of a uh, counterintuitive because we want the status we don't want the settings uh, and you're going to have most likely an IPv4 uh, network and then just scroll down to IPv4 settings and hit OK. And then uh, the option that you're going to want is IP address. And there you go. Uh, you'll just want to enter in that IP address into uh, whichever web browser you want and then you should be able to follow the uh, instructions in our knowledge base from there to get this phone up and registered. Uh, if you have any further problems or have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us at support, or you can visit us at www.onsip.com. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.